Destroy, destroy, destroy. Fuck yes. Less you know the better. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's <laughs> drinking coffee. <laughs> Mike Judge? <laughs> I had no idea. Go. If any of you are fans of rock or soul music, uh, his series, um, Tales from the Tour Bus, where he animates outrageous fucking stories, is fantastic. This already feels very perfect in the 90s. Oh, it feels very Mike Judge. Can we get a pole down? That's fucking fantastic. This guy's in a. No, Aziz is super angry. I love how you're randomly racist. I think you're just like, that's funny. Oh! Mm. And dodgeball. Oh, yeah, dodgeball. Oh, yeah, that's true. Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a douche. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, I love the white collar on With a different color shirt. That's such a yuppie shit. <laughs> so sad. Immediately so sad. <laughs> oh, jeez. Are we going to hear that a lot? <laughs> Just a moment. <laughs> same cadence, the exact same way. <laughs> <laughs> She's exactly what I thought she would look like from the sound. <laughs> Oh god, I fucking... This day's barely started. Hello, Peter. What's happening? <laughs> you see, we're putting the cover sheets on all TPS reports now before they go out. Did you see the memo about Oh that? god. Yeah. Being so condescending. Yeah, yeah, I just, uh, forgot. Oh, no. but, uh, <laughs> the coffee <laughs> sir? Oh! <laughs> Immediately hate this guy. <laughs> I'll go ahead and make sure you get another copy of that memo. Okay? Yeah, no, I, I, right, I heard the memo. Oh god. god. <laughs> Like, screw you, I don't even care about you, it's yeah. done. The cadence of it is so perfect, though. Yeah, yeah, the delivery. The memo, the memo. I've got it. It's right. Hello, Bill. Memos were so important to managers in the office. It's like a big announcement. No. Hi. Uh, <laughs> His eyes all bugging out. If, if Sandra's going to listen to her headphones, well, she's, well, she's oh my god. Like, don't stress this guy out, man. This guy's gonna like, cause havoc if you stress him out. Did you get that memo? I've already taken care of it, so it's not even really a problem anymore. It's just we're putting new cover sheets on all the TPS reports. <laughs> oh my gosh, he has to have the same spiel given to him again. We're barely a few minutes into his work day. I can't imagine doing this every- Michael... Bolton? <laughs> Michael Bolton. <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with that name. There was nothing wrong with it until I was about 12 years old and that no talent ass clown became famous and started winning Grammys. That's unfortunate. By Mike instead of Michael. No way. Why should I change? He's the one who sucks. <laughs> I got to get out of here. I think I'm going to lose it. Uh oh. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Pizza shooters, shrimp poppers, or extreme fajitas. Just coffee. Okay. Sounds like a case of the Monday. Oh my god. I'm not gonna be able to play poker with you guys on Friday. I'm gonna see this uh, occupational hypnotherapist with Anne. I get thinking that she's cheating on me. Okay, so he's interested in Jennifer Aniston, but he's actually in a relationship. An unhappy one by the looks. I think that the guy might actually be able to help. I mean, he did help Anne lose weight. Pito, she's anorexic. Yeah, I know. The guy's really good. <laughs> <laughs> you went too far the other way. Hey, and speaking of problems, what's this I hear about you having problems with your TPS reports? Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Can't get away from those f***ing TPS reports. I could program a virus that would rip that place off big time. Yeah. <laughs> big time. Big time, huh? You don't say. An occupational hypnotherapist? Yeah, I, I know. Anne wants that? me to go. She thinks it might help. Is that a real thing? I've never heard of it. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think that... I get thinking that she's cheating on me. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> right? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you anyway. Anne that you're not in hypnosis and you would play poker with us. I can't do that. She'll get all pissed off. And besides, 
I think that the guy mm. might actually be able to help. You have to interview with this consultant. They call them efficiency experts, but what you're really doing is interviewing for your own job. They really figure out how they can streamline the company, huh? And they make their workers do more work, but not for more pay. This time, I bet I'm the first one laid off. I believe him. You see, it would be this map, conclusions written on it that you could jump to. <laughs> Great job. This is horrible, <laughs> this idea. At least they're honest with him. You see, load letter, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Ugh. Printers. They literally never work. No. Never. Check out Channel 9. Check out this chick. Can't you just pretend like we can't hear each other through the wall? If you want to talk to me, just come over. <laughs> Check this out, dude. The key is. Oh, God. <laughs> it's for breast cancer. Sometimes I get the feeling like she's cheating on me. Yeah, I get that feeling too. <laughs> Everyone knows. Just get that feeling looking at her. <laughs> Sounds like someone has a case of the Mondays. No. <laughs> Shit, no, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something. <laughs> Turn off your answering machine. You should be home free, man. Doesn't sound like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a great idea. What would you do if you had a million dollars? Two chicks at the same time. <laughs> I think if I were a millionaire, I could hook that up, too, because chicks dig dudes with money. Simple priorities. I would relax, oh. sit on my ass all day. I like it. Yeah. Well, you don't need a million dollars to do nothing, man. Take a look at my cousin. He's broke. Don't do shit. <laughs> the ultimate dream. Yeah. Oh, no. Just a moment. Just a moment. It's really hard when you hate your job. Is this good for the company? Asking some questions, maybe seeing if there are some ways we can make... I just am loving the guy in the front row. Like, oh, no, no. If they move my desk one more time, then, then, I'm, then I'm quitting. And I used to be over by the window and I could see the squirrels and they were married, but then they oh. switched from the swing line. If they make me, if they, if they take my... I'll have to set the building on fire. Ever since I started working, every single day of my life has been worse than the day before it. So that means that every single day that you see me, that's on the worst day of my life. <laughs> what about Is there any way that you could knock me out so that like I, I don't know that I'm at work? Could I come home and think that I've been fishing all day? Or <laughs> I want you to try and relax. I want you to relax your legs. I love his voice, you know, it's very calming down. Your concern about your job melts away. Three, two, one. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. What the hell happened? Oh, shit. He didn't snap his fingers. He's still in that state. Is he going to stay like that now? Are you serious? He's in a I don't give a shit mode forever now. <laughs> oh, he slept through. I just wanted to make sure you knew that we did start at the um, usual time. <laughs> yeah. You love him. He doesn't care anymore. Oh my gosh. Just not giving a shit is the best. 17 messages. Peter? Huh? It's huh? 30. Why aren't you at work? Oh my gosh. First you just sit there while Dr. Swanson dies. Then you just walk out of the car and embarrass me in front of my friends. And don't blame this on hypnosis either. That's total bull. Oh, goodbye. He doesn't go to work anymore now? Like, at, at all? Hi, I'm Peter. Hey, look who's back. Table for three. To <laughs> I'm gonna go next door and get a table. And if you'd like to join me, uh, no big deal, all right? And if not, that's cool too, okay? Okay. With such a, you know, like, I don't give a fuck attitude. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Well, look, I already told you. I deal with the goddamn customers so the engineers don't have to. I have people skills. I am good at dealing with people. Can't you understand it? What the hell is wrong with you people? Poor guy. He just want, don't want to lose his job. 
I feel this movie so much when I was working in the call center. It's, it's the same, the same, right. the same characters, <laughs> super absurdish. And super stupid. And the bosses usually are the stupidest from more like super <laughs> not normal. Oh, you any relation to the pop singer? No, it's it's just to collect the sit down. Okay. <sighs> wow. He's she's so really small. Nice. Yeah. In this. Is it? Yeah, my god, compared to Jachi's. I just my guess. uniform's better anyway. So where do you uh work? I sit in a cubicle and I update bank software for the 2000 switch. We'll say they wrote all this bank software and uh, to save space they used two digits for the date instead of four, so like 98 instead of 1998. Uh, so I go through these thousands of lines of code and uh, it doesn't really matter. I, uh, I don't like my job and uh, I don't think I'm going to go anymore. Wow. <laughs> You're just not going to go? Uh, they, oh, were, they were going to stop uh, the electricity well, so if you don't do pay. You want to do? I want to take you out to dinner. And then I want to go back to my apartment and watch Kung. Can we order lunch first? Yeah. Okay. Did you get hypnotized? <gasps> oh my god, maybe, yeah! Oh. Oh, there it is. What? It, Here, let me just go ahead and get that from you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, this dude, I don't even know what he reminds me of. It's something diabolically hilarious. Just the way he's just, <laughs> he's going about his passive aggressiveness. <laughs> Man, tell me you've been sick. Make something up. Oh, no way. No, I feel great. It's the best day of my life. <laughs> I love that, that yesterday was the worst day of his life, and now today is the best day of his life. After that, I just sort of space out for about an hour. Tell him uh, space out? Yeah. I just stare at my desk. Yeah, it's crazy. He he He's like a another version of George Clooney. <laughs> he has like the whole head and jaw structure of George Clooney. Oh, Peter. What's happening? Listen, uh... Hi, <laughs> yo. Curve them, man. What's happening? Listen. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna do that someday. If they stand in my way to talk to me and I don't feel like talking to them, I'm just gonna walk around. We need to talk about your flare. I, I have 15 pieces on. 15 is the minimum. Okay, so see past the minimum. Why are you harassing her? Brian, for example, has 37 pieces of flare on. Yeah, Brian is not healthy. Brian is not okay. We want you to express yourself, okay? Uh, Milton Wadhams. Yeah, we, we can't actually find a record of him being a current employee here. Apparently what happened is that he was laid off five years ago and no one ever told him about it. <laughs> so he was, he's not supposed to be working there? A glitch in the payroll department, he still gets a paycheck. So we just went ahead and fixed the glitch. He won't be receiving a paycheck anymore, so it'll just work itself out naturally. So you're gonna have him work without a paycheck? Isn't that slavery? Now I'm in the US making deals. What is he doing? My black six four. Now all I got is one of He's got the fish! That's awesome! There's your TPS report. There, you got a view now. Oh my god, she's playing Tetris. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, so I guess we should have a little talk. All right now, Lumberg, I'm, I'm kind of busy. Look, I'm going to have to ask you to go ahead. Just come back another time. Huh? I got a meeting with the Bobs in a couple of minutes. Uh-huh. There you go. I've been aware of a meeting with them. Yeah, they called me at home. Is he scared of him, of the Bobs? And uh, we'll go ahead and get this all fixed up for you. 
Oh no! Look at his poor cube. How'd he get in there? I didn't receive my paycheck this week. You're gonna have to talk to payroll. Go ahead and move you downstairs. And Why? Oh my gosh. This poor guy. Have you have my stapler? Yeah, get your stapler. Looks like you've been missing a lot of work lately. I wouldn't say I've been missing it, Bob. <laughs> Good one. House cleaning with some of the software people. We're gonna be getting rid of these people here. Mr. Samir. They can't say that. They can't tell him who they're getting rid of. They're gonna, not gonna work here anymore anyway. Oh, jeez. Bolton. Nobody's gonna miss him. Do they know this yet? No, no, of course. Yeah, that's why they can't say a word. So you're gonna fire Michael and Samir and you're gonna give me more money? Wow. Uh-huh. Oh, God, they hate that machine. Look at it. Come on, you <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do exactly that. What are you doing tonight? Is he gonna tell them they're firing him? All right, I know you had this religious experience or whatever the hell that was, but you better snap out of it and get your shit together. You're gonna get canned. <laughs> Talking about the one who got fired. Human beings were not meant to sit in little cubicles staring at computer screens all day, filling out useless forms and listening to eight different bosses drone on about mission statements. Preach! But you take a few thousand withdrawals a day, you space it out over a couple of years, that's a few hundred thousand dollars. It's like Superman 3. Superman, what? Hey, any it? chance you can get so to get what? some free for money? Job where they can hey, just take fire it. you for no reason. <laughs> Peter, that's not much money. Yes. That's the that's beauty it. of it. Each withdrawal, it's a fraction of a cent. That's too small to notice. But you take a few thousand withdrawals a day, you space it out over a couple of years, that's a few hundred thousand dollars. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of being pushed around. But I'm not doing to do anything illegal. Illegal? Samir, this is America. What do you mean this is America? You still have laws. Tomorrow's your last day at Inatech. You have two options, unemployment or early retirement. I have a question. Yes. In, in these conjugal visits, you can have sex with him? <laughs> yep. You bought him. He's in. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we have to swear to God, Allah, that nobody knows about this but us, all right? Of course. Agreed. Don't worry, man. I won't tell anyone either. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Oh my god, aren't those floppy disks? Oh my god. I stole something else. What? What did you steal? Call it a going away present. printer <laughs> and nowadays our, our main issue is that there is no color left pink color is not available <laughs> i don't care i'm using black look look at that anger now you get it all out see i don't do that i just scream inside of my car whenever somebody doesn't do right you know while driving nobody gets hurt nobody knows i just feel so relaxed after i scream and tell them a few things <laughs> let me handle him let me handle him <laughs> It's okay, dude. It's okay. It's okay. Is that right? <laughs> dude, that was awesome. I love that. Good night. Back up in your ass. You know, to do something drunk, like drunk drive and get hit or something, or tell someone while he's drunk. All right. So when the subroutine compounds the interest, right, it uses all these extra decimal places. Okay, so he is actually telling her. There's the one rule, don't tell anyone. You're gonna make a lot of money, right? Yeah. Right? That's not yours? Uh, well, it, it becomes ours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exactly stealing, but he's just trying to say it nicely. You know, the Nazis had pieces of flair, but they made the Jews wear them. <laughs> uh, don't know about that comparison. Somebody I'd like you to meet this is uh, Joanna. Hi. Hi! Forgive me for not getting up. <laughs> As you can, he's got the lawyer here. The lawyer's not going to talk to them and figure out they've been like fired wrongly somehow or something. But I bet I hated my job even more than you, and I've been doing it for over thirty years. Wow. But he eventually seems to be happy later. Kick someone's ass the first day, or become someone's bitch. Then everything will be all right. So they're they're both panicking now. Like with who? Oh, let's see, uh, how Lombard fucked her. 
<laughs> is this all just rumors or what? Or is he talking about the other lady that's standing there? It was probably something fake and it's just got in his head, hasn't it? Oh, right, Lumber. Oh. oh. She actually did. Lumber. Peter, what is wrong with you? That was yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was so long ago. It doesn't matter, but. Lumber. Peter, what is wrong with you? That was like two years ago. She did. I mean, what are you? You think you're some kind of like angel here? No, you're just this penny stealing wannabe uh, criminal. He's got no right to judge her, but boy, I would still dump her. I'm done. Just, I want to get out of the car. Okay? Yeah, I'd fucking throw her out, bruv. Okay. Say hello to Lumber. She ain't worth it, bruv. Don't be chasing that. Hell no. That was like two years ago. But did you know him? Yeah, I know him. I know him. He's my boss. This relationship has taken a drastic downturn. I bet Lumborg doesn't like Kung Fu. Don't call me, okay? Say hello to Lumborg for me! To be honest, that would be so infuriating if you found out your girlfriend had previously slept with your douchebag of a boss. In the old face for sure. Oh, no, no. <laughs> the actor's doing such a good job of being irritating as fuck. Could you give me those TPS reports ASAP? Okay. <sighs> what a horrific nightmare. We need to talk. Do you know what this is about? If this is a flare related issue, you can go fuck yourself. Your lack of flare because, uh,. I'm counting and I only see 15 pieces. Imagine counting the flare. I do want to express myself, okay? Then I don't need 37 pieces of flare to do it. I'm having trouble figuring out which boss I would prefer less. Like, this guy is a douche in his own right, but the other boss is just a slimy douche. Oh shit. That is a lot of money. Oh shit. They, they probably won't know it's, it's gone for another three or four days. Michael! Well, my advice would be to have the best three or four days of your lives. Let's just calm down. Let's try to figure this thing out together. The first thing we got to do is we got to close that account before it gets any bigger. Is there any sort of paper trail that can lead back to them? I guess when they opened up the account, there must have been some sort of paperwork involved. Don't be greedy. Let's pass it along and make sure everyone gets a piece. No, no, he's not going to get a piece. No, so sad. No. We better get some revenge in the end. Milton? Yeah. What's happening? I wanted to say, you. Milton, you know what would be great? Wait, no. Since you're down here, it would be really great if you could it, just sort of... Take care of the cockroach problem we've been having in here. No, that's really not my job, and I, I haven't received my job. So, to be, for now, why don't you go and, ahead and, and get and, yourself a flashlight and a can of pesticide and, and crawl down... Bill, and, we need you upstairs right away. we got a big problem. Big. Mm. Poor Milton. Excuse me. Excuse me. God damn, dude. But, okay, but that's the last straw. He's gonna burn down the building, and they can keep the money. You're not working at Chotsky's anymore, huh? No, no, I got fired. What happened? I flipped off my boss. Some customers. Actually, a line cook, but he just happened to be standing there, so. I might be going away for a while. Uh, to jail. You were right about that computer scam. That was a bad idea. I'm going to take the blame for it, I decided. I'm on my way now to return the money and leave a confession under Lumberg's door. I may never be happy at my job, but I think that if I could be with you, that I could be happy with my life. I've been a real asshole, but if you could give it another shot, I promise okay, you, sure. Joanna. Whoa, hey, what's going on here? Get a room, you two. <laughs> Me. <laughs> dude, he ruined the whole moment. What is wrong with that guy? Oh, God, dude. He ruined everything in that moment. Jesus. In attack. I think they get away with it, personally. Dude, Milton's gonna do something <laughs> fucked up! <laughs> I can't believe what a bunch of nerds we are. We're looking up money laundering in a dictionary. <laughs> I can't believe Joanna slept with Lumberg. That's what I can't believe. Hey, you didn't know that? 
<laughs> a couple years ago, before he moved to Atlanta. You mean Ron Lumberg? Oh, oh God, it's a different guys? Lumberg. I used to be a digital crab, and now I'm off and trying to stay clean. Oh, are they, they going to ask you about money laundering? No. All the stuff I said about being a crackhead, it sells me sold magazines. <laughs> he doesn't even have an accent. A fellow software guy. He doesn't even have an accent, though. He dropped it well, immediately. Software. How is it that all these stupid Neanderthal mafia guys can be so good at crime, and smart guys like us can suck so badly at it? We're new to it, though. You, we'd be pretty good. We're just starting out. Yeah, we're beginners. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he's just gonna turn himself in. You wanna come over? No thanks, man. I don't want you fucking up my life. Oh, oh no! You know it's bad when Lawrence doesn't want to come over. Yeah, I know, right? Everybody second you, Michael Bolton. Well, that's one of the board members from Spider-Man. Years in a federal pound me in the ass prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this movie didn't go where I thought it was gonna go. Yeah, no, not at all. In a room, you two. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. I hate that guy. He's never off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's that annoying outside of work too. <laughs> Oh, is she working at the place next door now? Yeah. Where they went for their date. You're not working at Chotsky's anymore, huh? No, no, I got fired. I flipped off my boss. It's a baller move. I may never be happy at my job, but I think that if I could be with you, that I could be happy with my life. I promise okay, you, sure. Joanna. Aw, oh, you guys. I don't believe this is how the movie is going to end, you know. Oh shit, he changed his mind? Why, why don't you go back down and sit at your desk? Mr. Lumberg should be here. I still haven't received my paycheck and he took my stapler and he never brought it back. I'm just gonna have to take my stapler back because it is my stapler now. Don't, don't stand for it, Millen. Lawrence, you in there? Ooh. Hey, baby. <laughs> so I might be going away for a while. Yeah, I know, man. It's a bummer, dude. What can I say? I love Lawrence, man. He's such a cool character. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. <laughs> it's such a way with words. Oh, Milton's finally cracked. Yourself all right. See, all right? You too, man. Take your easy, bud. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. <laughs> Set it on fire! <laughs> he said... He did it! Did you or did you not do it? You don't seem like... Yeah, you did. You did do it. <laughs> you did do it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me take a look at that. But you don't want that, Peter, man. That's toasted, man. Oh, that's the stapler! So, how'd you like your new job? Not too bad. Not too bad. How's uh, Penetrode? Penetrode. Penetrode. <laughs> Isn't so bad, huh? Making bucks, getting exercise, working outside. Fucking A. <laughs> oh, is that interesting? I won't be leaving a tip. Because I could. I could shut this whole resort down. And he could. Let's write a letter to your court of tourism and I could have this place condemned. <laughs> I, could put, I could put strychnine in the guacamole. There was salt on the glass, big grains of salt. Oh my god, and he could totally do it. 